Hey guys, Happy New Year to you all. I hope you're doing well. I am getting back into the groove of things here in my 164 NASCAR Custom Workshop here. Got this 2016 Carl Edwards Xfinity scheme I'm making for Isaac. And um, got it put together, just painted a regular uh, gloss black here. And uh, a couple things I needed to pre-paint on this guy. So you've got the yellow playoff spoiler from back in 2016. And I just uh, use this. It's a gloss yellow testers. Uh, call it, well, I, should, I, say, I say gloss. It's flat. Uh, it's called flat sunflower. I'm not sure that's going to even show up there. But I found that to be as best a match to these uh, spoiler decals that I'm using. And I just kind of rub it right along here, across the top, back. And um, it didn't look too bad. But again, what it does is it allows you to get the sides and top, which the decals just don't, just, they don't, just don't give you that much. A decal to cover that area and uh, so you paint that on you let it dry of course and then you can apply the decal I put it on the back here not too long ago and you know you just kind of let it dry and and then you kind of work it uh, as it's as it's drying uh, towards the end of of it drying and then you get it to to conform uh, as much as you can around those areas so none of the decals exposed the little edges sometimes can get exposed so I did that and then so the back of this is red as you can see and just to make sure I did a little bit of painting right along this this uh, this border area not sure I needed to because the decal comes it's a little bit uh, uh, big on the back side here uh, hangs over just a little bit but just wanted to make sure right and so and and here I just use the gloss red testers gloss red for that and then you get this in again you know you, you want it to as it's drying towards the end as it's drying use a little micro sole on these um, silk ink decals from Pato and you just kind of work these in, especially on these corners. But there's a little overhang on the bottom here. Kind of have to be careful not to, because when it does dry, it will crack and break off. So you kind of just have to be real careful with that. But that way, when I go to put this on here, I'm not going to have any um, any black showing through back here. So But yeah, so far so good. One of the most difficult things you do um, is work this piece in. So this yellow spoiler here. can see it's a little big but again I'd rather have it big than small like these 2023's 2022's that we have but so I have to notch where this uh, where this bumps into the back of the spoiler so I have to notch that and um, then I'll be able to drop that into place but the nice thing about it being big is I can notch it and and then if I don't get it perfect that's fine because you know I can I have a little bit of room to play with there so but yeah so far so good um, got this in place Isaac I'm getting you know these these are sitting here now uh, give them another minute or so and then I'll start working this in the front here. 
trying to get this to come around the, the nose will be will be fun. Uh, let's see what else is going on. As you can see, I've got this um, this Roush, Chris Busher, and um, and over here uh, Isaac is your your last of the um, uh, Kevin Harvick number number three promo. Putting some sealer on this for you, Mr. Kyle. You asked for this, so it's coming along pretty well. This is a this is a really sharp black pink Toyota. I mean, just just really nice. I really like that paint scheme. That's why I bought it. And Mr. Doug, north of the border, Doug. Uh, I've got this decaled, and uh, just right now putting the finishing touches of sealer on it with this silver numbers number 2016 sorry silver numbers tw number 20 2016 Matt Ken Seth car one of the disappointing things about this was this area didn't have a decal for the black so I had to paint it black did the best I could. I'm not sure it's 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 perfect. You can see a little a little too much black there, but that that area right there needed to be black, of course. So, but still got some work to do on it. But it'll be done here in the next day or two. I'll be able to ship that up to you. And then I've got a bunch of other things that I'm working back here. Got these all uh, painted now. Um, now that it's much warmer down here, I can get back to business as usual. Got all these painted, and um, I think they're pretty much all dry now. So yeah, I just don't like them sticking on those little tops there. So. I'm about out of microsol. I'm just down to my last. You can see a little bit there. This is a um, it's a one ounce bottle. I'm probably down to my last quarter ounce there. So, if you want to know, um, I mean, I'm not always a huge fan of Amazon, but they have a service. It's not bad. So I'll get that off of Amazon usually, and um, to make it worthwhile, I may buy you know a couple of them. Or I may also buy some more X22. Well, those are the things I get from uh, from Amazon. Yeah, I think I said this before, but the Silk Ink decals are very sensitive to temperature. If it is too cold, like it was down here, or even if it's, you know, I think if it's if it's below 70, even, it's just too cold for these decals. They they will crack and split. Um, I've been emailing with a few of you guys on that in the past, and um, you know, it's very interesting um, using like super cold water. Uh, is also just bad. So you got the air temperature, you got the water temperature. Yeah, it's it's not ideal at all. You really need to work with it in in warm uh, warm conditions all around. All right. So as you see, I've got these uh, pieces cut up, separated out. I like to do that, and. Now I can put this in place as kind of the first, first one to go. Whenever you have these like little extensions here, 
you've got to be careful they will break off and so you can see I'm kind of holding them really gent gently getting them into place I don't want to manhandle these guys right now let's get them into place get some of the water out here Yeah, sometimes just to get them, just to get them to stay in place so you can start working with them is a pain. And I want to make sure I get that Toyota logo centered. Listening to some Dappy Tiki's this new year. Trying to start the year off right. One of the... Um, I, I think I've been telling you guys, I've been reading through the New Testament. And um, it's a New Year's Day morning, I'm like... God, where do you want me to start this year? You want me to start, you know, I've been reading a lot in the New Testament and the Gospels, and it's not that I don't want to. I want to read where you want me to read. So um, God led me to Ezra and um, just kind of talk a little bit while I'm working this, and this thing's being a pain in the butt. Get some microsole right on there. Soften this guy up so he'll stay in place. But, but yeah, I, I um, haven't read the book of Ezra in a while. Um, Old Testament, Old Testament guy. But I'll, I'll be honest, I think wherever you, you read the Bible, is a good thing. And, um, just find a place and start reading. Take notes, make observations of what you read. That's like the biggest thing. If you can do that, show God that you're interested in His Word. You're interested in learning something. The one thing I read, and um, right there in the beginning of Ezra, the people are in captivity. The Israelites were in captivity. They had um, gone away from following the Lord, followed their own way, and um, and so God said, "Okay, you want to go your own way? Here's here's what's going to happen to you." And so they were um, defeated in battle and carried away into captivity by the Babylonians. And the wonderful thing about what what God does is is they don't stay there, of course, right? The people didn't didn't go away. But he promised to deliver them. And what we see right there in the beginning of Ezra is the fulfillment of that deliverance. And it says that God um, uh, stirred the heart of the King Cyrus to accomplish his word, to fulfill the commandment. Not the commandment, but the prophecy. So here's God saying, okay, you've been there for 70 years, it's time. I'm gonna fulfill my word. And then later it says that uh, God aroused the spirits of the Israelites, you know, because not all of them were going to go back.
but he aroused the spirits of the priests and Levites to return to the land. They had gotten comfortable maybe there in Babylon after being there for 70 years, most of their lives. So who's going to go back? And who's going to uh, you know, build the altar? And who's going to uh, build the walls, and build the, the place of worship, rebuild the sanctuary. And, you know, I got to thinking, what does God want to stir up in my heart this year to do for him? And am I open to it? Whatever it is, am I open to God stirring my spirit? I think sometimes I put God in a box and say, hey, God, I'll do this or I'll do that. But I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So just, you know. And I kind of had a, all right, God, what do you have for me this year? Stir my heart up to do something for you. Whatever it is. So that's kind of a little application of, of what, you know, what take place there in Ezra, at least chapter 1. Um, but I just encourage you guys, you know, this year is to, as I probably, probably realize if you follow my channel, <laughs> work these customs and encourage you guys to, to read scripture, to draw closer to God. And that was the other thing is, um... I want to I want to draw closer to God this year nearer to his spirit this world wants to conform me wants to wants to mold me into its image to behave a certain way and think a certain way and I have to resist that you know there's an assault I mean I'm not saying it's different than it has been in past centuries but there's an assault on on our lives. You know, I, I think most of us that watch this channel are men. There's an assault on us. It's a war that's being waged on us to get us to conform, to think the way the world wants you to think. And we have to resist that. As hard as it is. But the way we resist it is we draw closer to God. And we say, God, I want to be like you. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like this world. I want to be different. And um, it takes character to do that. It takes sacrifice. It takes hard work, discipline. So I share that to encourage you. I share that just... To share that that I'm I'm involved in this fight I'm involved in this struggle and I need the Lord to help me as you can see um, this takes some time this takes some time to get this just right get it to lay in there nicely How are we looking here Too bad. Okay. Let's get some of his friends in here.
Maybe if I just bring this down a little bit. Not always the best at recognizing if it's out of focus or not. So because these things tend to go like over the headlights, I put the headlights on next. Back to work tomorrow. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to it. It's been a nice break. Although, messed around with my furnace a lot more than I really wanted to, but... Yeah, glad it's working. But really didn't get the, get the, the break that I kind of wanted. So... Oh well. Such is life. Be careful here along the bottom here. It's a little bit of a Well, some of this is kind of hanging below. I'm going to make sure that that tucks as best as possible. It's a kind of a pronounced lip there. More than I kind of anticipated. And it's best to get this in place while it's still moldable. If you can. So once it dries, it becomes a little brittle, and then you gotta seal it up. But As you know, my preference is to is to paint these lower valences, but in this case, you're kind of you're kind of your best bet is to is to use the decal. So, trying to do that. Okay, let's get these little guys on. Twenty-five years. Yeah, my heart goes out to Joe Gibbs. Yeah. God's putting him through the ringer. And, um, you know, with his sons passing away, it... <sighs> my heart just goes out to him. You, know, you start a business, you, you have a family, you want, you just, you just think that, you know, it's all going to work out well, and then tragedy strikes, and it strikes again, it's like, wow, what is going on, Lord? And, um, yeah, 
when he's, you know, should be stepping away and turning things over to his sons. He's not able to. Just my heart goes out to him. I know he's a strong Christian, but my heart just goes out to him. I'm sure he's asked why so many times. Ugh. All right, so that's that's that. Next step is going to be doing that spoiler piece and these sides. So, yeah. Let's look at a verse. My next one. And this is, you know, this is a great verse. It's a very simple verse, but the key to peace, Isaiah 26, 3. Some people think money, physical pleasure, power, will all lead to peace, you know, material possessions. But it's not true. One of the ways that a man has peace, true peace, in the midst of all the craziness that happens in this world, all the responsibilities that we have, and, and the pressure to produce, to provide, to be somebody. Scripture tells us, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. So God is the author of peace. We know, you know, Jesus is referred to as the Prince of Peace. But he, this is God, will keep him, that's us, in perfect peace. He is the one who keeps us in peace. It starts with first trusting the Lord. But because we trust in him, we then have our mind, which are our thoughts, our imaginations, things that we think about. You know, maybe like when we're, you know, laying down to go to bed, what are the thoughts that we think about? And if we're not intentional, our thoughts will go sideways. We have to be intentional with our thoughts and to, and to concentrate them on, on the Lord, on Thee. So we put our mind, our thoughts, our imaginations on Him. And, and when we do that, we will have perfect peace. Wow. So it's not that God just phew, pixie dust gives it to us. We have to work at it. We have to trust. And trusting can be hard. We have to trust and then we have to intentionally use our minds to concentrate our thoughts and our imaginations on the Lord. And when that happens, He will keep us in perfect peace. God bless you guys in, in uh, 2023. Appreciate you watching the channel. If you haven't subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button and like, and we'll talk to you in the next video. God bless.